find common roots of x power 12 minus 1 equal to 0 and x power 4 plus x square plus 1 equal to 0 asking us to find the common roots so first consider the first equation x power 12 minus 1 equal to 0 so which can be written as x power 12 equal to 1 so that means we can write this is as x is equals to 1 power 1 by 12 so that means here the concept is 12th root of unity okay here the question is 12th root of unity and uh, by applying the nth root of unity concept we can write x is equals to so 1 can be written as cos 0 plus i times of sin 0 power 1 by 12 so now we have to generalize this as cos 2k pi plus 0 as i am writing cos 2k pi plus i times of sin 2k pi plus 0 means simply 2k pi by 1 by 12 okay where k values ranges from 0 to n minus 1 here n is equals to 12 so by applying the demovitz theorem we can write this is as cos 2k pi into 1 by 12 plus i times of sin 2k pi by 1 by 12 okay so the k values has to be taken from 0 1 2 and so on up to n minus 1 means we have to take up to 11 so here we can write the given one the resultant is so we can write this is as cos k pi pi 6 plus i times of sin k pi by 6 okay so the resultant can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as cis times of k pi by 6 so where the k values ranges from 0 to 11 now substitute over here then we can get this is as cis first k is equals to 0 means it is cis 0 the one value we obtained as cis 0 next cis pi by 6 cis k is equals to 2 2 pi by 6 means pi by 3 cis 3 pi by 6 means pi by 2 cis 4 pi by 6 2 pi by 3 cis 5 pi by 6 okay i'm gone substituting up to the 11 so we obtain the next values as and uh, we can get this is as cis 6 pi by 6 means cis pi cis 7 pi by 6 cis 8 pi by 6 that means 4 pi by 3 cis 9 pi by 6 okay 3 pi by 2 cis 10 pi by 6 10 pi by 6 means 5 pi by 3 and this is 11 pi by 6 11 pi by 6 okay these are the roots we are obtaining for the x power 12 minus 1 equal to 0 so now consider the next equation what is given the next equation x power 4 plus x square plus 1 equal to 0 and uh, which is in the form of uh, uh, we can write this is as x square whole square plus x square plus 1 equal to 0 now we can find the roots of x square as x square equals to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4 a c by 2 a so then we can find it is as minus 1 plus r minus square root 3 i by 2 okay minus 1 plus r minus square root 3i by 2 so that means here we are getting the two values for x square one is x square equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 is one value 
and another value for x square is minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 okay minus i root 3 by 2 now represent this complex number in the polar form we can write this is as x square equals to minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 can be written as cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sine 2 pi by 3 okay here the magnitude is 1 and uh, tan inverse of root 3 minus root 3 means 2 pi by 3 plus i times of sine 2 pi by 3 okay so here to find the values of x we need to find the values of x now we can write this is as cos 2 pi by 3 plus i times of sine 2 pi by 3 power 1 by 2 okay we need to take here it is as a power 1 by 2 x square in the LHS now where the x will become power 1 by 2 and now we how to summarize sum, generalize this what we can generalize cos 2k pi plus 2 pi by 3 plus i times of sine 2k pi plus 2 pi by 3 okay we are generalizing then after generalization apply the de Morris theorem now okay if we apply now we can write this is as apply the de Morris theorem directly i am writing this is as cis times of 2k pi plus 2 pi by 3 power 1 by 2 power 1 by 2 next apply the de Morris theorem over here so if we apply the de Morris theorem we'll get this is as cis times of into 1 by 2 1 by 2 means cis times of k pi plus pi by 3 okay where k equals to 0 to n minus 1 here n is equals to 2 that means 0 comma 1 only so if k is equals to 0 we will get the result as cis pi by 3 and if k is equals to 1 we will get the result as cis 4 pi by 3 okay cis 4 pi by 3 is for this one So now we have to solve for the another root x square equals to minus 1 by 2 minus i root 3 by 2 and we can write this is as x square equals to okay over here we can write x square equals to so directly by applying what it is minus 1 by 2 minus i root 3 by 2 we can write this is as cos of minus 2 pi by 3 plus i times of sine of minus 2 pi by 3 okay i times of sine of minus 2 pi by 3 so now directly we can write it is in the third quadrant directly we can write x square equals to directly i am writing over here it is as so generalization so the generalization can be written as cos of 2k pi minus 2 pi by 3 plus i times of sine of 2k pi minus 2 pi by 3 okay minus 2 pi by 3 so we can have the generalization over here it is a cis of 2k pi minus 2 pi by 3 now x can be written as x can be written as cis of 2k pi minus 2 pi by 3 whole power 1 by 2 where k values has to be taken from 0 to n minus 1 here n is equals to 2 then the x values are if k is equals to 0 we obtain this is as cis of minus 2 pi by 3 okay cis of minus 2 pi by 3 okay and, and we have to apply the de Morris theorem over here okay now apply the de Morris theorem so if we apply the de Morris theorem here what we will get cis k pi minus pi by 3 okay cis k pi minus pi by 3 where k is equals to 0 comma 1 now by applying 
here we get this is ICs of minus pi by 3 comma cis of so k is equals to 1 2 pi by 3 okay we get here it is cis of 2 pi by 3 so we can write this as cis of minus pi by 3 as cis of 5 pi by 3 also 2 pi minus pi by 3 that means here we can write this as 5 pi by 3 comma cis of 2 pi by 3 okay cis of 2 pi by 3 and now this is for the second one okay so what does for the second one x power 4 plus x square plus 1 equals to 0 we are obtaining the four roots as cis pi by 3 cis 4 pi by 3 cis 2 pi by 3 and cis 5 pi by 3 and in the first one also we have cis pi by 3 okay in the first one also we have cis pi by 3 next cis 4 pi by 3 okay we have over here cis 4 pi by 3 next cis 5 pi by 3 we have over here and cis 2 pi by 3 so now the common roots of these two can be written as cis pi by 3 cis 2 pi by 3 cis 4 pi by 3 okay cis 4 pi by 3 and comma cis 5 pi by 3 these are the common roots for the given what it is x power 12 minus 1 and x power 4 plus x square plus 1 equals to 0 find the number of 15th root of unity which are also 25th root of unity okay here the question is find the number of 15th roots of unity are also the 25th roots of unity so that means here he is asking us find the 15th root of unity 1 power 1 by 15 and asking us again another is 25th root of unity 1 power 1 by 25 okay so this is the question is asking and how many number of common roots that means he is asking for number of common roots for 15th root of unity and the 25th roots of unity now try to simplify this we can write this is as cos 0 plus i sin 0 one can be written as cos 0 plus i sin 0 then we can generalize this cos 2k pi plus i times of sin 2k pi power 1 by 15 so in general we can write is the exponential as e power i 2k pi by 15 okay directly by applying the demos theorem so cos uh, theta plus i sin theta can be written as e power i theta and uh, into power 1 by 15 can be written as by 1 by 15 and over here we can write this is as 1 can be written as e power i theta theta is generalized as 2 some another factor m pi okay 2 m pi power 1 by 25 and over here we can write this is as e power i times of 2 m pi by 25 okay and where here the k values has to be taken from 0 1 so on up to 15 minus 1 the 14 and the m values over here are 0 1 2 and so on these has to be taken up to the 24 okay but we is asking for the common roots to obtain the common roots these exponentials must be equal that means e power i 2k pi by 15 equal to e power i 2m pi by 15 sorry 25 by 25 this has to be equal so from this one we can write this is as 2k pi by 15 equals to 2m pi by 15 if the powers are equal sorry by 25 sorry i am always repeating it as a 15 by 25 so from this one we can write this is as uh, k equals to okay directly i am simplifying 2 pi 2 pi k is equals to 3m by okay we are obtaining k equals to 3 m by 5 where k, k values from 0 to 14 and m values from 0 to 24 so now for what values this must be equal if m is equals to 0 
okay we obtain k is equals to 0 so that is a valid condition so k values are from 0 1 2 3 these are only 14 but m values are from 0 1 2 up to 24 now for what values of m and we are getting the k values for m is equals to 0 okay for m is equals to 0 we are getting the k as 0 and for m is equals to next when it will be cancelled 5 okay if m is equals to 5 k is equals to 3 that is present over here next for m is equals to 10 okay for m is equals to 10 and we are getting k is equals to 6 and for m is equals to 15 okay for m is equals to 15 and we get k is equals to 9 5 3 is a okay k is equals to 9 and for m is equals to 20 okay and for m is equals to 20 we get k is equals to 12 okay so that means e power i 2k pi by 15 and e power i 2m pi by 25 these are equal when m is equals to 0 k is equals to 0 m is equals to 5 k is equals to 3 m is equals to 10 k is equals to 6 m is equals to 15 k is equals to 9 m is equal to 20 and k is equals to 12 and if we take 25 25 is not in the range of m okay up to 24 only so then how many common roots we have we have five common roots for the 15th root of unity and the 25th roots of unity so we have the five common roots